Hey everyone, this week I'm going to be deviating a little bit from my traditional tutorial structure to more of a Q&A with Kyle, if you will, because I want to address a question that I've seen come up very frequently over the few years that I've been doing these uh, robotics tutorials. And I've seen this come up in my YouTube comments section and through the emails that I get from my website. And the question always arises whenever I do a programming tutorial. A lot of people notice that I have a lot of extra blocks down at the bottom of my programming software like especially a lot of sensor blocks and a lot of people like to ask me where do I get the extra sensor blocks so I'll be explaining all of that right now so what version of the EV3 software am I using that allows me to have so many additional sensor blocks in my programming environment now this may be kind of surprising but I'm using the home edition of the EV3 software it's the same exact one that everybody can download off of the Lego website and I promise that I have not modified it or altered it in any substantial way other than import these blocks into the software. So you can certainly get these blocks in your own programming environment because I'm using the regular home edition of the software. So then where are these blocks coming from? Now the additional blocks that I have in my software are coming from third party websites such as hightechnic.com, dexterindustries.com, or mindsensors.com and they all make, as you may have guessed, third-party sensors that you can use with the EV3 to expand its capabilities. And of course if you want to program the sensors that you buy from their website, you have to download their software block in order to use it with your robot. And that's why I have so many of these blocks. I've gotten them from either of those three websites. Uh, I've downloaded the block so I can use their sensor with my robot because I've experimented with third-party sensors a lot in the past and I've made a lot of robots with it like the KG tank for example uses the mind sensor sumo eyes now these blocks are required if you plan on using third-party hardware with your EV3 however if you don't have any of these third-party sensors or have any intent to purchase them having these blocks in your software doesn't help you at all so I know a lot of people are asking where can I download these blocks and are they useful uh, the short answer to that is no, they're not useful unless you plan on using the sensor they were designed for. So if you're competing in FLL or whatever and you're using color sensors and stuff and you're not using third-party hardware because it's not allowed in competition, downloading these extra blocks like I have in my software is not going to help you any. It's just going to waste your time. So don't think about downloading the software blocks unless you want to purchase any of these uh, third-party sensors. And if you want to experiment with third-party sensors, of course you'll have to do that outside of First Lego League or World Robotics Olympiad and do that on your own time. Um, but you can look at some past creations that I've made using third-party sensors and stuff, and it can really expand the um, EV3's capabilities, but only if you have the sensor. The sensor block alone doesn't help you at all. Now something that I personally have done in the past that I find very helpful is whenever I'm considering buying a sensor before I actually go out and purchase the sensor I'm going to go on the manufacturer's website and download the programming block and import it to my programming environment just to preview the sensor and its capabilities and see if I'm comfortable with programming it before I go and purchase it. That's a technique that I've started to use and I definitely recommend if you are looking into uh, using third party sensors on your own projects at home. Now I guess the last question that needs to be addressed is how do you get these sensor blocks into your programming software? Like how do you download them from the website and then put them into your programming environment so that you can use the sensors on your robot and program them? And the answer to that is already out there. I've made a tutorial a while ago on how to import third party sensor blocks into your EV3 program environment. So I recommend that you go watch that now if you're interested in trying out some third party sensors for your robot. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this every week. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you and I'll see you next time.